What is the single largest expense? People. People. Yeah. People, okay? People. People. <laughs> I don't think there's a single university in Canada that doesn't want to support um, entrepreneurship. This is that University of Waterloo has the largest math faculty in the world. Mathematicians were telling us not only were they attracted to, uh, to Waterloo from the United States because of the research being done, but also by the density of its math department. If you look at Toronto specifically, what you have is an urban environment where you have great tech companies, you have a place that people want to live and work, uh, you have a quality of life, which I think is hard to find other places. And you bring it together with a enormous ecosystem of great tech companies that learn from each other, collaborate, uh, work together. I think you got a good uh, good mixture. There are 230 different nationalities rep represented in this city. No wonder Toronto has been named the most ethnically diverse city in the world. And when you got that much variety in outlook, experience, and talent. That's where the magic happens. We really need to be thinking bigger when it comes to diversity in Canada. We have a lot of people with transferable skills that exist outside of the tech space. And we really need to welcome them in and expand our applicant pool. I think it's a challenge and an opportunity for us to teach the, you know, the next generation innovation, entrepreneurship, problem solving, computational things, thinking, and the you know, skills that are going to invent the jobs that don't exist yet. Very practically, it's the diversity of jobs. I think if we had real engineering centers in Waterloo, having higher salaries is two. But I actually think those two are solvable. To me, the third one is, is excitement, a vision for the city, a vision for the region that says, if I stay here in 10 years, I'm going to look like a genius.